Hey, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video. Today, I have the new plant versus zombie that I have been working on. This is the random macro version. So I hope it works great for you guys. Um, I'm using a Mac, so it might run a little different. Uh, so please try it out on your system and let me know in the comment section below and uh, I hope it goes well for you guys. Uh, but before that, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and leave a like if you like uh, my content and my videos. I really appreciate all of your kind comments. Um, they really help and support uh, this channel, and it really means a lot to me um, to receive such kind uh, words from you guys. It keeps me going and uh, it keeps me uh, making these materials for everyone to use. So to begin, we have the instruction page as usual. Um, it explains about the game and how you can edit and change uh, the game itself. Um, and also it talks about uh, installing the fonts, which you can also grab in the description below. So to begin the game, it's very simple. Just hit on the play button um, on the Mac. Uh, the PowerPoint on my, my computer, it's on uh, at the bottom right corner here. So just click on that. Right click on your keyboard to go to the uh, main page. The zombies are coming. And uh, the background music should start playing soon. Um, after you hit the press start button here. So that was Crazy Dave. He just gave you a brief introduction on how to uh, simply play this game. Um, as you notice, the background music is running on the third slide here but you can adjust the volume by hitting escape and the volume icon should be on the top left corner of the slide and you can, I'll show you how to edit that later. So to play this game is very simple. You can play one on one or in a group. I've tried it, tried it with both and they work excellent. Uh, I mainly use this for my online lessons with my students because they really enjoy uh, Plant vs. Zombie. So be, to begin the game, have the students select a letter or a number. So you have your question slide. Question goes up here. Your answers on the right. You have your wrong and right answer. And on the left, uh, you can change the image and put an image here. So if you click on the wrong answer, a zombie or a zombie hand will come out and if you click on that it should take you to the select screen again so let's click on that and the number just falls off so let's try it again let's go to uh, let's try a here again click on the wrong answer the zombie comes out and if you click on him it'll take you back to the select screen now let's try another letter Let's try K here. And if you click on the right answer, which is the, the O here, it will take you to the plant or zombie select screen. So which do you want? If they made it this far, they can choose either a plant or a zombie and have them battle each other to see who will come out victorious. So if they pick plant, the zombies are coming. So you can uh, use your own scoring system if you want. It's all up to you. Um, 
but you can also use the icon here. It says four, so you can give the student four points for uh, winning the battle, uh, for choosing plant. And to go back to the main select screen, just click on the icon here. And we'll try it again. Let's choose uh, maybe D here. Choose the right answer. And this time we'll try zombie. So like I mentioned, this is a random macro. Uh, it uses random uh, uses a random macro script, which uh, randomly selects slides for you. So let's click on zombie. The zombies are coming. <laughs> said you can choose to give the student uh, your own points or you can award them with points this one doesn't have any points so maybe you can say this one gets a hundred points so click on the zombie icon and I'll take you to the main select screen again so let's hit escape here and see if we can edit this ourselves so above the uh, third slide you have your um, background music here and if you hover over to the little uh, volume icon here you can raise up the volume a little bit like this that's too much <laughs> Maybe about here and just make sure you hit save and to edit the question let's just go over to the question slides uh, put your cursor over the question until it's highlighted and then just type in your question the same with the answer and these are just like keys to remind you that uh, these uh, answers are linked to certain animation triggers and slides. So you have your correct, wrong, wrong here, uh, correct, wrong, wrong, uh, this one wrong, correct, wrong. And you notice there are different zombies, zombie hands, and if you click on the zombie with the zombie hands, it will take you back to the select screen. So again, if you want the volume up, it's up to you. This one is all the way up to the maximum, almost maximum. And uh, if you go on to the uh, plant or zombie select screen, this is where the macro, I use random macro. Um, it's set to randomly select slides from 36 to 46. And if you right click on it, you can see that um, oops. here go to action setting right click action setting you can see that um, for mouse click I chose random macro and I made a special script so that it would um, randomly select slides for you to keep it more interesting uh, if you guys want to see a video on how I make uh, random select screens, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a tutorial video on that. And here are the action slides where you can get your rewards. You can change this, uh, change the slide yourself. As you can see, there are a lot of uh, sound effects and animations in here. You click on animation, you can see there's a lot of animations here. And Yeah, this one was a fun game to make. I really enjoy this, and I really enjoy Plant vs. Zombies, and my students really enjoy uh, this game a lot. So uh, I hope it goes well in your class when you use this game as well. Um, I would like to hear from you um, if you've used this game or if you have used it before. Please write it down in the comment section below and let me know how it goes in your class or in your lessons. All right, so that is my plant versus zombie random macro version. Um, if you want to see how I um, made this game, there is a behind the scene uh, series 
of videos that I have made um, showing you how I uh, put this game together. Um, so you can check that out after this. I'll leave that in. I'll also leave that in the description box below. So please check that out as well. Again, and as always, thank you for stopping by to check out my video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to leave a like. Again, thank you, and I wish you the best of luck in your classes.